guys, it's Asa Kaptis. Okay, today I want to alter this uh, wooden purse. I got this for at Hobby Lobby, I believe. I got this like, I don't know, long time ago, guys. Have a machine to uh, alter it. And Cody play with it, he carry it out like, oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, I couldn't find the, the box and Cody loved to play with it, guys. And now I did follow it and I'm going to alter it. Um, I'm gonna take all this. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to use this paper collection from Prima here, guys. I just got it. I ordered a like. I only don't have the paper. Pima that I told you around uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's Okay, I have to order only online only guys So I have to pay uh, full prices okay. So if you know, have at a Hobby Lobby or Michael's So you know, there's discount 50% or 40% But they never have the Pima paper there so Kind of, so I can This is okay. Okay, um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, I guess I have to paint this, I'm not sure yet. But I believe that we need to paint all these edges here. And maybe here too. But in here I might use the designer paper. Over here I use, um, I want to use designer paper too, but on around here. Um I'm not sure yet. Maybe I paint it and then I will use a uh, gesso or texture paste to get like some texture look. What do you guys think? And let's see for the outside. Uh, so the bottom that we need to paint, no for sure. And on the back, maybe use use paper or. I'll paint, um, maybe paper, but on the side here, let's see, gonna be very hard to use paper, at least, uh, we have to take this, this out, and then, uh, screw it back, take it out and screw it back, I don't know, guys, what you guys think? Okay, I need to take the this thing out. I, I have to go find my husband's screwdriver. Mm, I'll be right back, guys. Oh, I found it. So, nope, it's okay. So now, because I want to use the paper to cover this, so easy way for me that I have to take this thing out and then screw back in later after I cover it. Oh, you guys, sorry guys about my fingers, you guys can see my thumb. The reason that color because I have to find some lid to hold my screwdriver in case not lost it anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here. Um, I picked the uh, pecan, so I did not know that. I never picked the fresh one before, guys, so uh, this hard to look at my finger. So disgusting, huh? Oh, let me tell you about my <laughs> my pecan story. The first time when I picked the pecan nut, 
I live in um, not that far from the on the high highway, right? So I saw people, you know, picking something. I didn't know what it was, and I asked my husband, "What what people doing there?" You know, when we drove by, and he said, "Oh, they pick up the pecan." I said, "Really? Oh, I want to pick some, you know." And then my husband stopped the car, so we um. Pick the pecan because I love love eat uh, pecan pie. I buy like once a year, um, uh, one pie a year. Not a lot, guys. I don't want to eat too much sweet stuff. So okay, back to the story. So I pick up um like maybe a bowl or bag or something. So, but it's so tiny, guys. I don't want to pick up like about my thumb the pecan. And then when we got home, and then I crack it. It's so hard to crack open. We don't have any nut crack to crack it open. So um, it took me like I don't know how many hours to crack, and then like oh I I give up. So in the end, we have to uh, buy the pecan nut at the store. <laughs> so then I never pick up the pecan again, guys. We got like. Like, oh my god, no, I'm not gonna do that, you know, this is too much work. And then I worked at a gas station and I saw one guy came to uh, an HB store all the time, Sky, all the time to, to get the pecan, not from the HB tree in the front yard. And I look at him like, why that this guy keep, you know, Checking the tree, it the, it's hard to crack open the nut, and then, you know, I just never realized that some tree might better than the others, so I never expect, uh, you know, suspect anything. So this one I'm not gonna take it out because we're not gonna cover. I just gonna paint it, okay? I just gonna leave that one like that. So I never suspect anything back to pecan story. And then a couple of days ago I walked by uh you know to get the water to change for the squishy for the customer to clean the window. And I walked past the the pecan nut on the ground and I, I just want to taste to uh how how easy or how hard it's the the pecan nut can crack, right? So I step on it, so it cracked immediately. It's so easy, like oh, okay. And then I still didn't realize again. And then I was, you know, yesterday when I was working, and then I pick up one pecan, and then you my scissor to crack. I don't have a lot of heavy stuff at the gas station, and you you I use scissor to crack the pecan nut. And then I, oh my god that's so easy and then I ate it and then oh my god I, I was I was not at the pecan guys so at my on my lunch break so thirty minutes I maybe about twenty minutes I pick up my pecan not you know how much I got ladies let me show you lady Ta -da -da! sky it's so so big guys I love it like oh my god I gotta make pecan pie well not me my husband guy I don't know how to make it <laughs> I was so excited and I told my friend who oh, she come on my break and she, she tried oh give me some nuts so I, you know and I told her I'm gonna make pecan pie she said, oh bring me some pecan pie I said okay I will so tomorrow I'm gonna bring her one some pie pecan pie okay back to I'll try stuff now nine minutes and I bow too much okay now I'm going to paint the bottom here um, I'm not sure around here yet but just in case I'm going to paint out here here too but pretty much pretty um, sure I'm going to put paper here but on here I'm not sure gonna use the paper or trim I'm not sure yet but just in case I'm going to um, paint first if I decide I want to cover paper that's okay too so we're gonna paint here on the edge here and I'm going to paint all around the edges here too, just in case. I'm going to paint here and then here. So now we know what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to get 
a pen. So I'm going to use um, gesso here. You know what, Sky? I was confused. I am confused right now too. This one is like, I believe it's a curly gesso. And this also call it gesso. So I believe this one is thicker. So it's, it's maybe look like... Um, I'm not sure guys because this one is said uh, Corinthian uh, Hell Mud Studio Gesso. See guys, what a different anyway guys. I have no idea. Oh, this one is thicker guys. It looked like to me this one is thicker but this one is like, see it's a water in there so I I'm confused. I don't know guys, so I'm going to use this one. So now I'm going to use my uh, brush here. See? People when sometimes they say use gesso, like what is it gesso? So i still confused guys. So now I'm going to paint. Now I'm going to speed up video guys so you guys don't have to watch me or do um, doing this slowly, okay guys? guys after I painted that I'm going to cover outside here so we can uh, hear the the handle and the lock back on there so now I have to pick the paper which one that I want to use Good thing about this one. I'm going to use the honeycomb paper pattern there, guys. in my mind again. Maybe I want this one guys. The problem with this one is that it's the alphabet on this way. 
so I want this to go this way but it is hard because you know if this one that I will be done this side there is well, still not reach both sides. enough so we cut it apart, split it apart and then you'd have this to cover this one. We have to uh, this. We have to split this one apart. So um, this one have to be um, okay. This one gonna be uh, three quarter and then two and a half. My cutter, it, the number did faded already. You know my mistake. I used some uh, car to wipe the this thing to clean the adhesive off. You know my mistake, and now all the number disappeared. I need to get a new one. But I didn't get it. I don't know, guys. I spend a lot of money on thing here, guys. So this one's gonna be on this. And this one's gonna be over here. And um I'm not sure should I need another piece of this paper. For the bottom there, or should I use some uh, drip trim to cover with the net? The net light I do my ultra box, the PS box that I did ultra, guys. Like this one, and I use this net. Or I use another piece, cut this another piece. You can pick up my mind, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, 
case I just decided to um, cut this piece to connect together and in this piece and now we go on to this thread with my district tool on edge at first. guys I'm going to cover with my fabric trim here on the edges here remember my previous video that I alter the low, uh, Roman novel box that I said you know I should cover all the edges here and then use my uh, net tool to cover so I think this one I'm going to try that let's see how it turn out okay I'm going by too quickly, I haven't done anything a lot today. My day off. My husband gonna come back and make my um, popcorn pie from now. I can make popcorn pie every year by picking at uh, on HGB. My finger is so disgusting from the pecan. Is it? Um, no, not cut it apart. So you guys don't need a lot of these. You guys buy um I I saw all of these guys. This is the last one. If you guys are still interested buying it, let me know guys so we'll get some more. But right now I kinda keep this one to use for myself. <laughs> so now I'm going to wrap this around the Cover the fabric there. Okay. To cut this.
I'm going to use um, my skull tape here, guys. And then you don't have to use that much because we're gonna cover with the paper again, guys. Okay. I'll be right back up.